If there's one place more than anything that says Seattle, it's right where we are, the Space Needle. Am I right, you guys? Definitely Space Needle. Obviously. But this iconic symbol of the 1962 World's Fair wasn't always top dog in the Emerald City. In fact, if you went back just a century ago, Seattleites were craning their necks and celebrating the city's original high-altitude landmark. So what I have here, this is very cool. I got this collection um, a couple years ago. This came from a person whose grandfather worked on building the Smith Tower. And it is an entire documentation of the construction of the tower from the foundation to the entire structure going up. So in 1911, you're looking at the site of it. They're putting the boards up and they're beginning to clear out the site. My name is Nicolette Bromberg. I'm the Visual Materials Curator for Special Collections at the University of Washington Libraries. You see they're putting the foundation in, they're laying the foundation, and they're beginning to do the beams in there. Welcome to the lobby of Smith Tower. We'll take you on inside where you can see some of the ornate decor that was originally in the building from 1914. This includes our manually operated elevators and we'll take elevator seven all the way up to the 35th floor. And here we have our dramatic arrival to the Chinese room and observation deck. Technically, my office is down on the second floor, but this is kind of my second office, and I think it's the coolest office in the city. My name is Kate Chase. Uh, we are on the 35th floor of the Smith Tower, and I am the marketing manager for the Smith Tower. We turn 100 this year, so the big centennial. You know, these days, the Space Needle is what represents Seattle, but prior to the World Fair in 1962, Seattle was all about the Smith Tower. Um, if you ask anybody's grandmother, grandfather, they all remember as little kids coming into Seattle and this was the place to go. Um, in 1914, when the Smith Tower was built, it was actually the tallest building um, west of the Mississippi and it remained the tallest building on the west coast until the Space Needle was built. L.C. Smith, the namesake of the Smith Tower, he was originally from Syracuse, New York, and uh, his fortune came from Smith Corona typewriters. And he uh, actually was convinced by a fellow businessman and his wife to start purchasing land in Seattle. Um, you know, this was after the Great Fire um, and uh, at the beginning of the uh, gold rush, the Klondike gold rush, and so Seattle was really beginning to grow as a city. He purchased a few plots of land out here, um, including the second and Yeso location, and he decided that Seattle deserved something grander. So now you can begin to see things that are sticking up. Oh, see here, this is good, see? Now you can see the, the beginning, it's beginning to take shape. He originally came up with plans for um, about an 18-story building. However, his son, Vern Simon Smith, was in New York City at the time, and he saw all of the uh, huge skyscrapers going up at that time, and he said, Dad, we've got to go bigger. Um, and so over about a year, they came up with plans for a 25-story building and then you know, a 30-story building, and finally worked their way up to the 42-story building that stands here today. So then this just begins to go up and up and up and up and up. This was a major, major undertaking. It took from 1911 to 1914 to build it. See, now it's getting up there. The tower's beginning to take shape. Now watch the cladding going up. They're getting close to the top. Just kind of crept, crept up, 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 up. The term 42 stories uh, is actually a reference to a unit of measurement. A story is a little bit more than 10 feet. And uh, nowadays, of course, when we say story, we're actually talking about floors. So there are 38 physical floors above ground for the Smith Tower, but when you measure it by stories, it's 42. The Smith Tower is an icon of Seattle. The Smith Tower represented Seattle kind of like the Space Needle um, does now. And in this promotional brochure, the Smith Tower is right there in the front. And 
that's the you know standing as the symbol for Seattle. And even so, even if you're a new person, you know that building is unusual, and um, you're going to know it doesn't look like the same old same old skyscraper. And right now, because it isn't as important a building as it used to be, you know it's a quirky part of our environment, or it's a fun part, or it's part it's part of what makes Seattle Seattle, you know, rather than just another boring city. The Smith Tower Centennial Celebration is coming up in July, but you don't have to wait until then to ride those manually operated elevators up to the Chinese Room and Observation Deck. For more information, visit smithtower.com.